Hey, what's up guys? A lot of people have been asking, uh, what does the future of welding look like? So in this video, we're going to cover what the future of welding looks like. So stay tuned. Let's get right into it. So a lot of people ask me all the time, are welders going to be replaced by robots? There's definitely been some improvements made in the manufacturing setting, and there's definitely robots that can, can weld out there, but welders are so highly trained and so highly skilled that there's always been a big push to build processes and systems that reduce the need for that high skill level. You know, there's also this factor when it comes to people that you know people need breaks and they take days off and you know there's there's certain things like a robot doesn't need breaks robot doesn't need to take days off but when you get into the really highly skilled pipe welding you know is there machines that can do it yeah you know there is but they're so selective they cover this really thin section of the industry of the market where a human can come in and grab a stick rod a TIG machine, you know, MIG machine. This technology has been around for a long time and it works. I mean, it's, there's just no doubt it just works. So an aggressive human can smoke a robot all day long. Is there people out there that are actively pursuing automation and trying to replace people? Without a doubt, but they're not gonna come close. Like when you break it down to a, a labor perspective, the $5 million automated machine, you can just buy a lot of labor with that, right? And so, you know, and I've toured factories and plants all over the nation and I've seen everything when it comes to automated technology, automated welding, but predominantly where they're used is really short little sections of the continuous the same you know fmf pipes prime example these are aftermarket dirt bike muffler pipes you know and they have these short little stitch welds put on them by a robot just day after day after day now like as a human who would necessarily want to do that repetitive motion over and over and over i know i i personally wouldn't so we ran into a guy at fabtech he was a salesperson for an automated weld machine you know we asked him why are you building these you know what's motivating what's inspiring you to to go down this path and he said there's just not enough people that can weld well there's not a huge line of people signing up to go weld at these companies that are here looking at new stuff and so you have to automate automation is a really small thin piece of market share when you look at overall where the labor is focused and the future of welding in in America is extremely bright because of the aging demographics it's just absolutely inevitable that manufacturing is coming back to America America's in a really good spot as far as the age group of our youth and we have the people the people are there now they have to become skilled in order to build these plants as they're coming back and then the baby boomers which if you look at baby boomers on a growth chart these are people born from 1946 to 1964 with a huge majority of them being born in 1958. Those big majority of them, they're going to retire in 2023. So from a numbers perspective, those baby boomers, they make up a massive majority of the blue collar workforce. So the skilled labor is not going anywhere. And the higher the skill you have, the higher the value you're going to have in this new economy that's coming. Now, there's people all over the world that are talking about this. And if you're a highly skilled welder and you're a and you're in the blue collar workforce, your future is extremely bright. Kids these days, majority, they wanna be YouTubers or they wanna to go to college or that, you know, because that's what we've told them that they need to be, but you're gonna have a much greater chance at success and you're gonna make way more money. If you learn a trade, you become highly skilled and you go out there in the workforce. And welding is the highest skill there is. That's why we call it the king of trades. I never had a day that I actually had to work. You know, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. So welding definitely is the king of trades. It's the most skilled, the highest paid trade out there. I don't think that anybody would ever regret being a welder. It treated me really, really well, and I've really enjoyed it. And I think you will too, to be honest. All right, if you like this video, make sure you check out this video right here. This one's about the blue collar tour, what we're doing out there coast to coast. I think you'll like that video too. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you drop us a comment, let us know what you wanna see in the future, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next video we put out. We'll see you next time. Forget college, join a trade.